One of the coolest features about Tesla's fleet of cars, so the S and the X, aside from just an insane amount of instant torque, is they're essentially giant gadgets. And like your phone or tablet, get software updates over the air that will enable new features. The folks at electric.co have the scoop on Tesla's latest software update 8.0. It's bringing a ton of new features as well as a UI overhaul. Let's start with one of the best I think the Tesla has to offer, and that is Autopilot. If you're not familiar with Autopilot, it's kind of like level three autonomous driving. It means you gotta stay alert but if you're just driving on the freeway, the car can pretty much do all of the driving for you. If you want to change lanes, put the signal up or down and it'll change one lane over left or right. A limitation though, the current hardware was that it could not exit freeways for you. Well, worry not, it looks like with software 8.0, put your signal on and the car will know there's an exit coming and it'll actually take that exit for you. How it's going to stop, I don't know. Uh, they cannot currently recognize stop lights or stop signs. Hopefully it's got a follow car so it'll know to stop. Otherwise, it'll just exit for you. They know how to put your foot on the brake to come to a stop. On the UI side as well, Autopilot's getting some updates. Currently the UI for Autopilot, you can only see the back of the cars that are near you. With the update 8.0, allegedly you'll be able to see the full degree of the car depending on where you are. So if you're next to a car, it'll look like you're next to a car. If a car is behind you, you will see the front of it and so forth. We shall see improvements how Autopilot works. Uh, Tesla uses fleet learning, so the more people use it, the better it's going to get. Supposedly it will hover more in the middle of the road as opposed to hugging the current right side of the lane, which it does right now. We should also see big UI improvements as well to Tesla. Uh, the current Gen 7.0 is a decent UI overhaul, but it wasn't giant. This update should make things look completely different. The biggest one should be in maps and navigation. Tesla's going to be doing a lot of updates to navigation. It's going to let you reroute to avoid toll roads or different supercharger locations. Uh, it should also give you much more on-the-go planning for charging and destination charging. While Tesla users in Europe have had access to a Spotify app for quite a while, folks in the US still won't get that with 8.0, unfortunately. What you should see, though, is complete UI change for the music interface, so that's nice. Voice control should also be drastically improved. Currently, you've got to hold down a voice control button and speak your command. You shouldn't have to hold that button down anymore. It'll work very much like Siri or Google Now. You'll push it down, speak what you want to speak, and the action will happen. Although you should see a visual representation of what you're saying show up on the dashboard now. I'm still hoping, though, for a button that automatically call up Siri or Google Now, depending on what phone you've got paired. So big updates coming. We don't know when these are going to hit. Supposedly just a few users are using them right now. It could be as soon as a few weeks, could be a few months, uh, or even could be holding out until 2017. So what do you guys think about Tesla's 8.0 software update? It's incredible to think about a car getting better via software. It's something that Tesla can do and is kind of unique in the marketplace for that. Hope to hear your guys' thoughts on it. You excited, not excited? You drive an S or an X, you know someone that does. I'm curious to try these features out myself. Until next time, John Ranger from Techno Buffalo. See you guys in the next one.